Sunday today. It's about uh, 9 a.m. right now, and I just woke up. That's why I'm kind of puffy and groggy right now. But I'm going to a blogger event today, so I thought I would um, just start filming, you know, a vlog for the day today. Um, I Like I said, it's 9 a.m. I'm going to an event, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready right now. Then I have to drop off Eric at work, and then I will take you guys along to the blogger event. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in just a minute. Hey guys, okay, so we are headed to a blogger event right now. It's the same group of bloggers that I met up with last month. We're having another like meetup kind of thing. It was so much fun last month, so I totally wanted to come again this time. I vlogged a little bit earlier when I was getting ready, and then after that, you guys know. You're getting ready, and you think you have enough time, and then I don't know where you're like, oh crap, I have to go. So um, that's kind of what happened this morning. That's why I didn't vlog again. I just dropped off Eric course he left me with no gas so I had to get gas I think we're making it on pretty okay time it says it's 23 minutes away from where I am so I'm hoping that we make it right on time I'm wearing this like fur kind of shawl thing it's a little bit extra but you know what that's how I roll and we're fashion bloggers I mean extra is kind of like our bread and butter you know what I mean yeah that's what we're doing right now I actually did bring my tripod uh, so that's why you're at a better angle than you were like the last vlog, I think the last vlog the whole time was like you right underneath here looking up my chin and my nose. So that was super unflattering. But yeah, brought the tripod along. I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit more of the event this time. Last time I know I didn't really vlog the event. I just wasn't sure what we were all gonna do um, and if they would be comfortable with that. But uh, yeah, so I will try to vlog the event more. Today's event is covering um, how to take uh, pictures without proper lighting. We live in Minnesota, so we don't really have that much light in the winter time. So if you can't get outdoors and to use and use natural lighting, how to um, you know make your own lighting and stuff like that, which I think is super important for videos and for pictures, just content of any kind. I think you know having the right light, knowing how to get the right light or capture the right light is super important. So yeah, nothing too exciting right now. I'm just on the open road, so um, I think I will show you some clips of the road, and then I will talk to you when we are at the event. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hello. I didn't realize were I didn't know the, yeah. uh, the parking situation, so. I hope nobody minds. Thanks for doing this. If you mind, just let me know. I mean, I feel like when you're a blogger. Oh my god, this is so cute. to be connected to a community of women. Um, I think now is a really important time. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna take this energy and I'm gonna package it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a brick and mortar space for women to say, yes, you can do this. Let me help you. Let me be part of your <laughs> The 
great thing about it being winter and there being snow is that the snow is a great reflector. Mm -hmm. So that adds on even more light. Um, a couple of other things to think about is your outfit when you're doing indoor photography. So if you're if you want to take like a really colorful outfit uh, photo of or a photo of a very colorful outfit, I would probably save that for an outdoor shoot just because indoor it might reflect that those colors might reflect on your face or skin and that's just that makes it harder to get a good photo without a bunch of um, uh, weirdly weird colors on your skin tone and then also get a reflector like they you can get one for like eleven dollars on Amazon and then yeah it sounds like um, you personally already know how to use your camera really well but also just play around feel like don't be scared of the best. I know you can see my brow straps, but I was wearing like a full fur cardigan kind of thing. Um, you guys will see it on Instagram. I'll post an OOTD so you couldn't even see this. But anyway, I am back from the event. It was so much fun. It always is so much fun. Everybody there's super welcoming, super nice. So it's always just a bunch of fun meeting new like local bloggers and uh, people who kind of have the same struggles or do the same thing as you. So that's always really fun. I am eating right now. So I'm eating right now. Taco Bell, I know it's like counterproductive to my diet. I am gonna go to the gym today and it is the weekend, so it makes me feel just a little bit better. If you guys have not tried these nacho fries, oh my God, they are fantastic. So freaking good, so delicious. I cannot believe they're only a dollar, only around for a limited time. This is some stuff I picked up at Target. You guys, I literally picked up so much stuff. I think I'm gonna do a Target haul. I'll probably film that today. Um, if not later on this week and um, show you guys because a lot of it was like clothing and shoes and pretty much like all of it except one or two things was all on sale and I cannot believe it. I got everything for under a hundred bucks I think. I will be shooting that also. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep vlogging today. I don't know what Eric and I have planned. He will be off of work and maybe an hour or so but like I said I don't know what we're gonna do so this is the end of the vlog thank you guys so much for coming along with me I hope you guys enjoy seeing a little bit more um, variety a little bit more vlogging um, a little bit more of like events I attend here in Minnesota and stuff like that and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to keep seeing vlogs don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video